Warning, this is crazy. The following program is intended for mature audiences over the age of 18. This program contains themes, language, and nudity not suitable for younger audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. You big dummy. Never, never pull thing. Never. And it's 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 really it's really unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. Let me take this person that wanna come in this at least somebody that's coming to get me, that's been told to get me. Oh, they left? So please uh, tap the screen and we'll get into it. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Hey. How are you? I am doing good on tonight. Now that you're back live. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Move, Joy. Move, move, move. So have you been following what's... Uh, Trending out here in these TikTok streets? I most definitely have, honey. And um, see, I didn't catch that part. You was talking about it before you cut off. I didn't catch that what Joe had posted. Cause I I I don't follow him, so I get anything that I see, I get it from y'all or someone else may post it. So um I didn't see any of that. So I was out of the loop on that part. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah, isn't that interesting? It is very much so. And, and you said earlier that his outfit looked like a wrestling suit. That took me out, and it looked horrible because it's not. He should have had it tailored. I feel like he should have had it. Tailored. Oh, you got away. So. Um, let me say this. It is very safe to say that poor radio is not smiling like this at night underneath Big Joe. I wish Joe Netta could really see how happy her husband is when a real woman has her hands around him, how he just lights up and cheesing. Here we go. Hold on, y'all. Oh. How you doing? Here we go. Um, how are you? I'm doing all right. Uh, you probably don't know me. Uh, I'm 2K from the Talks with 2K show. Okay. I've never heard of you. Not, no disrespect, I don't. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I seen you get disrespectful. I don't want to. What are you doing, though? Good. So what, what are you doing? Tell me about what you do at your show. Well, I do a lot. Uh, I I'm, I wear a lot of hats, but uh, when I'm blogging, I guess uh, I, uh, investigative journalism, and um, I was just seeing what what was going on with the uh, the Joe Netta and Miss Charles thing. I had some outstanding coverage and I, insight. Yeah. Oh, a lot. It. This is. I mean, I'm telling you, it's 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 very thick. It's like like. It's down to like, like like Joe BBL thick or thick like some um no like like Joe's triple BBL thick you mean mm -hmm. it's, it's not a regular BBL it's a triple BBL okay not a single but a triple okay so like okay so uh, they, they said that you had all uh, the, the 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 police transcripts and everything that's it's true. I, how can I obtain this information? 
Well, you know, I don't want to give out my information online, right? But uh -huh. you, you can message me and we can talk about it. But yeah, it, it's very, it's, it's cut and dry. It's very, very clear. Yeah. I, I would love to actually have you on my show as well because I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to pump through the bud because a lot of people say that you have a personal vendetta against uh, Big Joe. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, I, I do journalism the right way. I don't, I don't, I'm biased. So, you know, I, I wanted to see what was to that. And, and let me tell you this, it's, it is public information, just so you know, but, but I can, it, it, it can be dealt with in an easier way, but yeah, there's things on the um, LAPD, you know, they do, they update things on their website all the time about local things and local events and incidents and things like that too. Thanks for the gifts. So, but you said you'd like to chat, chat about that one day. Absolutely. As, as soon as tomorrow we can. Um, why don't you message me? Let me follow you. Okay, let me follow you. You got a husband? I, I do have a husband. Oh, man. I seen your picture, girl. He lucky. I tell you that. <laughs> no, <laughs> you haven't seen his picture. I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you'll be luckier with me. Man, I get what you're saying, though. Well, let, me, let, me say this. let me say this. If if you um if i didn't have a husband the bar would be extremely high so can i can you follow me for a second i ain't used to uh, being led but I, I guess i can just for a second okay let, let, i'm following you so if i'm used to getting my joints ran down then um finding somebody that's just hitting it and not hitting it right would probably be not very satisfying, right? Oh, Lord. You, you, they know you talking like this down at the church. <laughs> They're going to kick you out the digging board. No. Miss <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you can't be doing that now. Like, we can talk now. You know? We can talk now. <laughs> But yeah, so I definitely. So we followed each other. Um, let me ask you, since you're here, if it's okay. Mm -hmm. um, you're a man. Absolutely. Do you, do you think any man such as yourself wants to be dominated by a girl? Uh, absolutely not. I like being little spoon. I, I do admit that. I like when my wife treat me like a little spoon, but dominating be dominated nah i can't i'm not with that and and you know um what i you know like dragging you out the car just ho ho hovering over you when you eating could you imagine if i she, i'm married to you and i make your plate and i'm standing right over you and and you can't even eat in peace like you a kindergarten kid yeah i hate that i even hate when when you're not standing over me and you're just looking at me, you're like, is it good? Is it good? Is the food good? I hate it. So I, I know how Charles, I know Charles can't like that shit. And then, you know, them bumps, they be leaking out of Miss Charles, uh, Big Joe, Big Joe, Joe sometimes. So I know Charles really don't like that, but see, that don't mean he don't love Big Joe. If that is true, what you say, mm -hmm. He loves Big Joe, and you believe that? I do. Okay. Well, I got about 50 icebergs in Las Vegas, Nevada that is for sale, and um, they don't melt in the heat, okay? Okay. So you make sure you come and talk to me afterwards, okay? We'll, we'll, we'll get together. Well, well, baby, I ain't the one that's going to buy them icebergs now. So, <laughs> so I don't know who you're selling them to. But okay. if you have stamps for sale, we, we, we can do we something, can do like, something that. like that. Okay. Hey, Taylor, how you doing? Thank you so much. So much for yeah, get him off here. Taylor, he can do nothing but a cloud chase anyway. He don't have a platform to do nothing on, on TikTok, Facebook, none of that. Do not. that. that you got to be careful who you add on your platform because some people ain't got, you know, nothing to do. They ain't got no content, so they try to steal and, and bite off everybody else's content. So don't even... 
that one right there, that one you do not need to be up here. Okay. Okay. He does not need any kind of recognition. Don't nobody know him. He's a struggling blog vlogger or a podcaster or whatever he is. Don't nobody know him for real. So don't. That's what we bet we cannot do. We cannot give people like him any recognition, any attention because he ain't got none. He can't stand on his own. He has a boring life. Nobody don't know him for real. So for him to do it, he's got to um, you know, talk about other people, and that's what he do. You know. Like me and you, we're entertaining. We talk about Joe, Big Joe, and everybody else. But aside from that, we are, we got real lives, and we are entertaining ourselves. So he, so it's nothing. He don't have a platform over here. Take it back to Facebook. The people in the comments saying he's got a platform. Well, take it back to Facebook. That's where he need to go. But anyway, how you doing, Miss Hillary? I am. I am. I'm 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 getting I can't hear you. What you say? You got a mute. You got a mute. There we go. Can we go. Can y'all hear me? Okay, now it should be better. When I talk, you just mute, and then I'll I won't say anything, and it'll be fine. Or you may have your Bluetooth on, game, but it's your fault. It's your fault. So, so well, Miss Heather, can you make me an admin? Yes. Right now. Go ahead. Okay, good. Okay, I'm just making sure that I'm admin. Yep, you are. So anyhow, Gabe, can you tell me what's going on before I can break the tea now? Because people want to know about some other stuff. So can you tell me, tell these people, these lovely people, how you actually broke the story first? Okay, so the information came to me that they were not allowed onto the blue carpet or the BET Awards show. So that um, came to me, and I didn't even say. You remember me, me and you talked on the phone before the. We was, I was like, you know, the awards is about to start in three minutes. Should I go ahead and tell the people? And you know, we waited on it. We sat on it, and I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. So that's why when I put my video up people it went it went big the way that it did because people knew that okay this is you know this is true mm -hmm. and so what what how do you feel knowing that somebody big joe's time is coming to an end Um, well, I feel like how do I know that the time is coming in is because look at the look at it. I mean the numbers. Mm-hmm. I'm online. The numbers. But you So I wanna ask you guys a question. How many times do we let People continue to play in our faith. They play in our faith. And they just get away with playing in your face, telling you something's going on. Star Crunch is getting mad and sicking people on me. And I want to know, when is enough enough? When do we start to hold icons to a high level. Gabe? Do what now? When do we when do we do that? I come, I come to a high level. <laughs> Did you hear me? No, I can't hear you. You might have to drop and come back. You might have to drop and come back. But I want to say this, if you can't hear, drop and come back, Gabe. Okay. Okay. And then come back. And then come back. So let me, while Gabe is doing that, let me say this. Have you ever heard of the saying, only a face a mother could love? Only a face a mother could love. And why would I be jealous and obsessed? I literally am
am trying to understand. And I don't know how many times I can tell you the only reason I came back was to defend women and their children. And it's, it's, thank you for the gifts. Thank you. So I want to get into a few things. It's a lot going on that you guys are going to get over the next couple of days, but I want to just fill in some fillers so you can understand. Has anybody in this point four K people in this room has big Joe Netta taken to the airwaves other than posting about telling his supporters to come get me? Has he said anything about why he didn't make his appearance on the red carpet? Has he said anything about why he hasn't appeared on the red carpet? And I don't know why we he's been radio silent. I don't know why he's been radio silent unless radio has is telling him to be radio silence. But why not press it? If lying, if you didn't have a bunch of smoke to blow up people's you know what, then why don't you address it? You don't got no money, you don't got no coins, you came to Los Angeles with a few dollars in your pocket, you took to social media, begging and pleading to be booked. That's not what icons do. Icons have, have icons have managers, icons have handlers that have everything already booked and ready to go. All you have to do is show up and perform. But what happened to you? You get on the internet and you say, does anybody want us to do any promos for y'all while we in LA? And then you ask about making appearances at clubs. You seem very desperate, very, very desperate, Joe. And what I know, Joe, is you struggle to get out of the hotel when they put you out. You struggle to get out of the hotel when they put you out. Joe, can I show you somebody that will probably refresh your memory? Because we know you're in here. Let me show you something to refresh in your memory of somebody. And you tell me if, if this person, if you recognize this person. Who is that? Who is that? In the, in the, in the hotel waiting to slide up in the BET awards. Look how happy he is. Look how um what is he what are, what is she got on? Is that a judge role? She's looking like Judge Maybelline Ingram from Divorce Court. That looks like a judge's robe. Why is it scrunched up like that? That should be up on the shoulder. And what does radio have on? Radio looked like he was going to somebody's trap house, not to the BET Awards with all that fake jury on, setting off all them metal detectors throughout that whole facility.
please tell me, Big Joe, y'all didn't fly all the way down now for three days and you didn't get to go to the BET Awards. Please tell me you were sick. Please tell me you forgot your tickets in the, on the airplane. Please tell me Lily ate y'all invitation. I, because I, I, I'm trying to figure out what this excuse is going to be. And I feel like, you know, oh, we know, we know they didn't get invited. But why, why would you get on here and lie? Why would you get on here and lie and say that you are invited to the BET Awards? Why? Why would you get on here and lie and say that you're invited? It makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense. Did you turn them tickets, Netta? Did you trade your BET tickets, Netta, in for bell peppers and onions in Los Angeles? Did you trade your y'all tickets to the BET award for green peppers and onions? Inquiring minds want to know. Did you go and pick up your case of croissant roll, your crescent rolls? Did you pick up your garlic knots? And your Velveeta cheese? When you told them to come and get me and you posted that thing about wash your dirty face and brush your nasty ASS teeth, let me remind you of something. There's two things that should never come up out of your mouth and that's face and teeth. And let me break it down for you. You got a mouthful of veneers, and under those veneers are decayed, rotten teeth. And your face, we don't have to even discuss that because it speaks for itself. Only a mother could love. Only a face a mother could love. And I am such an obsessed person that um, I remade your song. I remake your song for you and I, I hope you like it and it goes a little something like this. Charles, your bumps are ready. They only burst for you. Charles, your bumps are ready. I got the dessert too. This is for my haters that's bursting for me. Back up off, Miss Netta. You don't want the disease. I'm tired of these haters coming for me. I hope you like that remix. I really, really do. I really hope you like that remix, sis. I really do. But you know, we all know you're in this room spitting mad, Big Joe. Big Joe is in here spitting mad, punching the air. Volcanoes erupting all over his face because he's so angry. Please. <laughs> Please sing a little more. <laughs> okay, I'll sing a little more for y'all. You want me to start over? 
Okay. Charles, your bumps are ready. They only burst for you. Charles, your bumps are ready. And I got your dessert too. This is for my haters. That's coming for me. Back off, Miss Netta. You don't want this disease. I'm tired of these haters coming for me. There you go. I did a little encore for you. Did y'all pick up the lisp with it? Did y'all pick up the lisp with it? See, let me tell y'all something. The worst thing that Joe Netta could have ever done is woke up a sleeping bear. Thank you for the gifts. The worst thing Joe Netta could have done was come for women and their children. Because what has happened is you don't know what they call Hillary Activate. I will remind Big Joe, just like he in that kitchen, when he in there spitting on everything he cooking, scratching in his funky balls, and then snipping his hand to see if it stinks. I will continue to make him feel how these other women have felt. Leave these women alone. And the most important thing is if you really apologize to the women who you offended, it would be way more easier for you. Thank you for the gifts, everyone. So I will say this because I have a lot of stuff to go through and I don't just go up through here talking and throwing out unsubstantiated stuff. Thank you for the gifts. I wanna have my receipts and I wanna have things factual so we will have more school and more good tea. I want to thank the people in here who's tapping the screen because I know y'all ain't tapping, tapping, tapping. But let me ask you guys the question. And I'm watching the comments. Why do you guys think that? Are you, can you guys hear me? Say yes if you can hear me. Why do you guys think that? Can y'all hear me? Okay, so why do you guys think that cheapers, creepers, where did you get those bleepers? Cheapers, creepers, where did you get those eyes? Dolly, Molly, all the moment, Kali, Molly, where did you get those eyes? So anyhow, I got to get on my little business stuff that I have going. We'll get into some more tea tomorrow. Thank you guys for coming in and tapping the screen. We got some people in here trying to shut me down. I got to be careful. But thank you guys very much. Thank you for tapping. Tap in later 